In the end, all that's left is a smelly, oily slime, a substance containing toxic methane gas that's produced by rotting palm fruit, the negative side of palm oil production. That production process begins with collecting bunches of freshly harvested palm fruit, each weighing 40 kilos due to the large amounts of oil inside. We've come to southern Thailand where the palm oil harvest is in full swing. The generous amount of oil won from palm fruit, nine times as much as from soybeans, is in some ways a blessing, and in others a serious environmental problem. Thomas Breuer, an agricultural expert from Germany, is from a farming background. He's come to Thailand to advise farmers how to grow oil palms without harming the climate and make better sustainable use of existing farmland. Thailand wants to set an example to the rest of Asia and is cooperating with Germany's GTZ development agency. This and this is not that good quality, this is not that great. Breuer is looking for farmers to take part in the project. The idea is that they inspire others to move away from traditional farming methods. This man who lives near Krabi in southern Thailand could be his first partner. He has a lot of expertise. He knows the area and local conditions extremely well. One of our main objectives is to listen to what people have to say, learn a lot ourselves from the farmers and then put people in a position which enables them to advise other farmers so they can adopt their improved methods. Varin Jaikliang farms 50 hectares, which makes him quite a large-scale farmer in Thailand. He doesn't let anything go to waste. He even collects the individual berries. They contain a lot of oil. Locals call him the soil doctor. He is one of the few farmers in Thailand to keep an exact record of pH values, which in turn facilitates optimal fertilizing. Jai Kliang says huge monocultures exhaust the soil. That's why alternatives to oil palm cultivation have to be found, planting rubber trees, for example. But that requires expert knowledge. We have to train our workers, but for most farmers that's a problem. Many workers only come here from northeast Thailand as seasonal laborers. But Jai Kliang runs his business rather differently. He's shown his workers how to work with rubber trees. It means he can offer them work all year round. That's good for both his income and theirs. It sounds absurd, but planting rubber trees also ensures sustainable palm oil production because extra arable land is no longer needed. It's another way of protecting the environment. Sustainable farming methods are one thing. Processing the oil in an environmentally friendly way is another. We move some 1,000 kilometers north. Here near Bangkok, the Saksomboon palm oil mill is seen as a positive example of sustainable economics. The steam needed for the drums, which soften the oil fruit before pressing, is supplied by this biogas plant. The container for methane gas from oil fruit residue is right next to the mill. Until now, just 10% of the palm fruit was used to obtain oil. The rest was waste. But for the past six months, the waste has been used to produce biogas, which generates heat and electricity. Thomas Breuer is convinced that there is a technical solution to the environmental problems caused by palm oil production. He's headed for an old production site in southern Thailand. Breuer wants to persuade the operators to do their bit for the environment. He'd like to see if they'd be willing to invest in sustainable technology. They say the first new machines are already in operation. But they note conversion will take time as the plant needs to stay open for cost reasons. 
Extra land for expansion has already been purchased. Are they going to plan uh, to invest in a biogas plan? The company's financial controller explains they have another mill which runs on biogas, but that the investments first have to pay for themselves before another plant can be built here. Breuer says most people in Thailand are open to change. We don't know what condition the plant was in a year ago, but I think it was a lot worse than it is now. You can see renovation work is being carried out and modernization is in progress. In order to meet our sustainability requirements, money now has to be invested in a biogas plant. Then he shows us another highlight. This might look like a waste product, but in fact, it is a valuable fertilizer. It is of great benefit to a local family of farmers. In the past, this land in the shadow of the palm trees was of no use. But now, mushrooms are grown on the pressed palm fruit husk. This provides the family with a supplemental income of about 150 euros a month. <laughs> The local authorities showed us how to get more from the palm trees. If they put it to clever use, this family can make a reasonable living from their five hectares of land. Thailand is setting an example that Indonesia and Malaysia are poised to follow.